Peter Schiff's delusional forecast. Peter Schiff is back. That simply means he is talking more. Today we learn Schiff's accurate prediction of the subprime mortgage meltdown inspired the Academy Award-nominated film, The Big Short. His prediction allegedly inspired the movie. Really? Is that delusional or what? Schiff's delusions don't stop there. In the very next sentence, Schiff predicts no police. And Schiff is back at it with hyperinflation nonsense. This will be the first event that will touch every single living person in the world. All human activity is controlled by money. Our wealth, our work, our food, our government, even our relationships are affected by money. No money in human history has had as much reach in both breadth and depth as the dollar. It is the de facto world currency. All other currency collapses will pale in comparison to this big one. All other currency crises have been regional and there were other currencies for people to grasp onto. The dollar collapse will be the single largest event in human history. This collapse will be global and it will bring down not only the dollar but all other fiat currencies, as they are fundamentally no different. The collapse of currencies will lead to the collapse of all paper assets. The repercussions to this will have incredible results worldwide. What makes this story even more infuriating, is that it wasn't necessary. It didn't have to happen. Scream on. I have seen Schiff's hype in other places recently and in each excerpt, Schiff textually screamed in bold caps the dollar collapse will be the single largest event in human history. Schiff also says when the economy crashes parts of America will resemble a third world country. Peddling snake oil. I assure you any upcoming dollar crisis will not be the single largest event in human history, ahead of World War II, WWI, the Great Depression, the medieval collapse, the renaissance, and countless other ideas including the internet and the future impact of self-driving vehicles. Whenever anyone makes such absurd claims, you know they act like carnival barkers peddling snake oil. Reflections on gold Like Schiff, I advise holding gold. For a couple of years, however, doing so was a very painful experience. It now appears gold has bottomed, and if so, here are five reasons. Negative interest rates. Competitive currency debasement. Totally out of control central bank actions. Trillions of dollars of debt that cannot possibly be paid back. Renewed lack of faith that central banks have everything under control. Without making absurd claims of where gold is headed, I simply advise holding a decent portion of one's assets in the metal. How much depends of risk tolerance? but a level of 20% or so seems like a reasonable starting point of discussion. For those who do not understand gold, and for those who would be uncomfortable holding much of anything that does not have a yield, a level of 5% might be more appropriate. For others, 35% might be appropriate. If any investment causes a loss of sleep, it's too much. Global Currency Crisis Like Schiff I am a firm believer a global currency crisis awaits. I have stated that belief many times over the years. However, a currency crisis is more likely to start outside the US. Leading candidates include Japan, China, and the Eurozone. Canada is a possibly, as is the UK. Even if a currency crisis starts in the US, the crisis won't be the single largest event in human history. Unlike Schiff, I don't pretend to know so many details on how it will play out. I also don't pretend to know when it starts. Schiff's Dollar Myopia With every country doing the same thing, even more so than the Fed in regards to negative rates, it's downright silly to focus on the dollar. Why not put a spotlight on the yuan or the yen? What about the possibility, if not outright likelihood, of a very destructive breakup of the Eurozone? Schiff not only maintains his US dollar myopia, he brought that myopia to a new level, to the point of believing police will vanish in the US. Peter Schiff is either delusional or he buys into the idea that preposterous marketing hype sells. I strongly suspect both. There's little doubt that America is one of, if not the, greatest nation to have ever existed. Our unprecedented experiment in democracy has fueled production growth and wealth accumulation that are unmatched in human history. Today, 
even in troubling times and in spite of pressure from rising competitors like China, the United States is viewed by most as a global arbiter and a bastion of unparalleled, though imperfect, equality. It is undoubtedly the wealthiest nation on the globe and the home of the world's reserve currency. And yet, every great nation and empire in history has eventually succumbed to one destructive force or another. Will America be any different? According to Peter Schiff, best-selling author of Crash Proof and the Real Crash, American Armageddon is inevitable. Yet it won't be disease or warfare that topples America. Instead, it will be economic hubris. That's right the same Peter Schiff who accurately predicted the housing bubble and the subsequent financial crisis believes we're in for an even more devastating economic collapse, one that will result in a total government bankruptcy. Schiff calls 2008 just the beginning. The real crash, he says, is the one that's still coming. How did we get here? Now, the coming crash may not look anything like 2007-08. But the effects will be far worse. Peter predicts fallout on a calamitous scale civil unrest, lawlessness, borderline anarchy. In other words, a genuine economic crisis. After all, a total government collapse leaves vital institutions, such as police departments and fire stations, unfunded. Without these fundamental government services, the center can't hold. Things fall apart. The problem lies at least in part, with bad monetary policy. Given a chance to learn from the mistakes that fueled the Great Recession, the government instead decided to double down on those same mistakes. An era of easy money policies has reaffiliated the housing and stock markets but created a debt burden so huge that the government is now completely insolvent. And now, on the brink of collapse, the average American remains ill-prepared to survive the events that are about to unfold. That. Peter says, is the consequence of all this bad monetary policy and the moral hazards of the United States government. What can you do? Here are three steps you can take right now to protect your wealth. Buy overseas. The dollar is extremely overvalued right now. Indeed, the current dollar bubble is historic but it won't last forever. So long as the dollar is inflated, Peter Schiff recommends buying assets abroad that you can hold forever. They may be cheap now, but once the dollar bubble bursts and the currency collapses, those overseas assets will suddenly be very valuable. Go for gold. Next, Peter recommends holding physical gold. A desperate U.S. government has almost no limitations, meaning any other assets savings accounts, 401, K, S, etc. are at their disposal. The only thing that's guaranteed to remain in your possession and guaranteed to maintain its value is physical gold. Peter recommends hiding some gold in a safe place and also storing some offshore in your name. One place he would not keep gold is in a safe deposit box at a bank. That's the first place the government would go looking for valuable assets, Peter says. To the teeth. Finally, people should not only be armed, but they should also be stockpiling bullets. Worst case scenario you can barter them. You can trade them to somebody. They're going to have value, but they might have a lot of value if you actually need to use them, Peter says. It's not too late. Now, you may not believe that an American Armageddon is on the horizon. But Peter Schiff was right about the housing bubble, and he was right about the Great Recession. And now, he believes that it's only a matter of time before the economy crumbles and we face a real financial crisis. The coming crash will wipe out anyone who isn't prepared but it's not too late to save yourself. If a stock market crash does not happen this month or by the end of this year, that does not mean that the experts that are predicting a stock market crash are wrong. It just means that they were early. As I have said so many times, there are thousands upon thousands of moving parts in the global financial system. So that makes it nearly impossible to predict the timing of events with perfect precision. Financial conditions are constantly shifting and changing. But without a doubt another major financial collapse similar to what happened back in 2008, or even worse, is on the way. Let's take a look at some of the financial experts that are predicting really bad things for our financial markets in the months ahead. Doug Short. 
According to Doug Short, the vice president of research at Advisor Perspectives, the stock market is somewhere between 33% and 51% overvalued at this point. In a recent article he offered the following evidence to support his position. Peter Schiff Peter Schiff, the CEO of Euro-Pacific Capital, has been one of the leading voices in the financial community warning people about the crisis that is coming. During a recent interview with Fox Business, Schiff stated that the massive financial collapse that we witnessed back in 2008 wasn't the real crash and he boldly declared that the real crash is coming. So is Schiff right? We shall see. Robert Wiedemer Economist Robert Wiedemer warned people what was coming before the crash of 2008, and now he is warning that what is coming next is going to be even worse. So are these guys right? We shall see. But I do find it interesting that some of the biggest names in the financial world are currently making moves as if they also believe that a massive financial crisis is coming. For example, as I have written about previously, George Soros has dumped all of his holdings in banking giants J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, and Goldman Sachs. Infamous billionaire hedge fund manager John Paulson, the man who made somewhere around $20 billion betting against the U.S. housing market during the last financial crisis, is making massive bets against the euro right now. So where are these financial titans putting their money? So why would they do this? Why would they pour millions upon millions of dollars into gold? Well, it would make perfect sense to put so much money into gold if a massive financial crisis was coming. So is the next financial crisis imminent? We will see. Most financial analysts that appear in the mainstream media would laugh at the notion that a stock market crash is imminent. Most of them would insist that everything is going to be perfectly fine for the foreseeable future. In fact, most of them are convinced that quantitative easing is going to cause stocks to go even higher. After all, isn't quantitative easing supposed to be good for stocks? Didn't I write an article just last month that detailed how quantitative easing drives up stock prices? Yes I did. So how can I be writing now about the possibility of a stock market crash? Aren't I contradicting myself? Not at all. Let me explain. The first two rounds of quantitative easing did indeed drive up stock prices. The same thing will happen under QE3, unless the effects of QE3 are overwhelmed by a major crisis. For example, if we were to see a total collapse of the derivatives market it would render QE3 totally meaningless. Estimates of the notional value of the worldwide derivatives market range from $600 trillion all the way up to $1.5 quadrillion. Nobody knows for sure how large the market for derivatives is, but everyone agrees that it is absolutely massive. When we are talking about amounts that large, the $40 billion being pumped into the financial system each month by the Federal Reserve during QE3 would essentially be the equivalent of spitting into Niagara Falls. It would make no difference at all. Most Americans do not understand what derivatives are, so they kind of tune out when people start talking about them but they are very important to understand. Essentially, derivatives are side bets. When you buy a derivative, you are not investing in anything. You are just gambling that something will or will not happen. Five very large U.S. banks, including Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, and Bank of America, have combined exposure to derivatives in excess of $250 trillion. Keep in mind that U.S. GDP for 2011 was only about $15 trillion. So we are talking about an amount of money that is almost inconceivable. That is why I cannot talk about derivatives enough. In fact, I apologize to my readers for not writing about them more. If you want to understand the coming financial collapse, one of the keys is to understand derivatives. Our entire financial system has been transformed into a giant casino and at some point all of this gambling is going to cause a horrible crash. Do you remember the billions of dollars that JP Morgan announced that they lost a while back? Well, that was caused by derivatives trades gone bad. In fact, they are still not totally out of those trades and they are going to end up losing a whole lot more money than they originally anticipated. Sadly, that was just the tip of the iceberg. Much, 
much worse is coming. When you hear of a major derivatives crisis in the news, you better run for cover because it is likely that the entire house of cards is about to start falling. And don't get too caught up in the exact timing of predictions. If a stock market crash does not happen this month, don't think that the storm has passed. A major financial crisis is coming. It might not happen this week, this month, or even this year, but without a doubt it is approaching. And when it arrives it is going to be immensely painful and it is going to change all of our lives. I hope you are ready for that. Peter Schiff's Delusional Forecast Peter Schiff is back. That simply means he is talking more. Today we learn Schiff's accurate prediction of the subprime mortgage meltdown inspired the Academy Award-nominated film, The Big Short. His prediction allegedly inspired the movie. Really? Is that delusional or what? Schiff's delusions don't stop there. In the very next sentence, Schiff predicts no police. And Schiff is back at it with hyperinflation nonsense. This will be the first event that will touch every single living person in the world. All human activity is controlled by money. Our wealth, our work, our food, our government, even our relationships are affected by money. No money in human history has had as much reach in both breadth and depth as the dollar. It is the de facto world currency. All other currency collapses will pale in comparison to this big one. All other currency crises have been regional and there were other currencies for people to grasp onto. The dollar collapse will be the single largest event in human history. This collapse will be global and it will bring down not only the dollar but all other fiat currencies, as they are fundamentally no different. The collapse of currencies will lead to the collapse of all paper assets. The repercussions to this will have incredible results worldwide. What makes this story even more infuriating, is that it wasn't necessary. It didn't have to happen. Scream on. I have aims, you know they act like carnival barkers peddling snake oil. Reflections on gold. Like Schiff, I advise holding gold. For a couple of years, however, doing so was a very painful experience. It now appears gold has bottomed, and if so, here are five reasons. Negative interest rates. Competitive currency debasement. Totally out of control central bank actions. Trillions of dollars of debt that cannot possibly be paid back. Renewed lack of faith that central banks have everything under control. Without me seen Schiff's hype in other places recently and in each excerpt, Schiff textual screamed in bold caps the dollar collapse will be the single largest event in human history. Schiff also says when the economy crashes parts of America will resemble a third world country. Peddling snake oil. I assure you any upcoming dollar crisis will not be the single largest event in human history, ahead of World War II, WWI, the Great Depression, the medieval collapse, the Renaissance, and countless other ideas including the Internet and the future impact of self-driving vehicles. Whenever anyone makes such absurd claims,